Hi again, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to the first video in Module 3 of AEDT Workplace Learning. Over the next few weeks, we'll explore the different types of workplace learning and this week, we'll delve further into what constitutes formal workplace learning. We will of course begin with the analysis question. We will also look at a few examples of formal workplace learning. Next, we'll look at some characteristics of formal workplace learning and then follow that up with conditions of formal workplace learning success. And as always, we will finish up with the synthesis questions. There is only one analysis question for this video. What do you think are the formalities of formal workplace learning? In other words, what sets formal learning apart from other ways of workplace learning? To help you get started, you may want to describe the components of formal workplace learning. When you need to learn something for work, there are several options available. You could enroll in a course such as this one, or take a MOOC, which is an online course that may be recognized by an accredited institution. Formal workplace learning does not include attending organizational created in-house seminars or workshops offered by a training company. It's important to remember that all formal workplace learning leads to a credential. There is a set course of study, it is a content delivery model of teaching, and there is an assessment at the conclusion. Looking closer at the characteristics, we find that the objective of formal learning has specific behavioral requirements. Subject matter experts and instructional designers put the content together. The output could include workbooks, trainer guides, presentations, and assessment tools. The content delivery may be presented by a facilitator in a workshop setting in an online environment such as how we use Adobe Connect or as a self-paced course. These are usually completed online. Because the objectives are specific, such as learning certain knowledge needed to maintain or obtain credentials, the assessment is determined by whether the objectives has been successfully earned. Assessment may be completed online or in a physical classroom. There are several conditions for success that you should keep in mind. The most important factor is the culture of the workplace. Every organization is different particularly in its approach to workplace learning. This includes how learning is organized and supported. Ideally, all types of learning should be encouraged and mechanisms in place to ensure that what was learned is retained and support systems are in place. Also, no one single approach will be successful. A blended solution is often the best, especially when reinforced with embedding the learning in the workplace performance. Remember, formal workplace learning is not a single event. Finally, learners often learn best when they are guided by facilitators and not merely lectured to. There are two synthesis questions that are based on the videos and support material. I'd like you to start thinking about primary functions of formal workplace learning and also some strategies used to create engaging formal workplace learning programs. You may want to think of your personal experiences for these questions. What worked and what didn't work? But most importantly, do you know why these strategies were or were not effective? Finally, although formal learning is often perceived to be a very rigid way of learning and teaching, it is usually up to the designer to create engaging experiences. Look on our Blackboard site and you'll find a fill in the blank test. You can use a self-test either while you do your readings or use it to see how much knowledge you've retained once you've completed this module. Have fun! And by the way, the answer sheet is also on the site.